guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a full face of drugstore makeup and I achieved this smoky wing liner look with only drugstore products. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so I know I want to do a smoky wing. So we're going to start off with our eyes and use some tape. I like to just put it on the back of my hand first so it's not so sticky. And then try to angle it the same as your lower lash line. And hope that it's even. I'm going to prime my lids with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 1-6. All right, and I'm gonna zoom you in. So first I'm gonna put a little uh, eyeshadow in the crease before I start the smoky wing. So I am using the City Mini Palette. This is the Makeup by Shayla collaboration. It's very cute, comes in this little package. Slides open. And you have your little palette in here. Super pretty. And I am probably going to be putting this shade all over the lid, the shade in the crease, and then I'm going to use the shade to smoke out the wing. So to start, I am going to be putting this shade here all over my lid. And I am using just a BH Cosmetics kind of flat brush. And it does look like this has like the tiniest bit of shimmer in it. But... I think it'll be mostly matte. And I haven't tried this yet, so we shall see how it goes. And then with a big fluffy brush, this is the Morphe M504. I'm gonna be taking my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I am gonna be taking this shade right here. And I'm gonna fluff that into the crease very lightly. I just want to get like a nice transition shade down. Then I'm going to go in with a Morphe M433 and we're going to take this maroony chocolatey shade and I'm going to lightly buff that in the crease. So once we have something a little bit like that, we are going to start the wing now. I am using the Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 Angled Kajal in Onyx. And it has like an angled tip. So I thought that would be really nice for this type of look. So I'm just going to drag this along my lash line and along the tape. And then I am going to take a very small shader brush. This is a little tiny BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm gonna go in with the dark shade in this palette. And we're gonna smoke that out. And then I am going to take just like a really small angled brush. This is the Sigma Small Angle E65. So it's real little. And I'm going to take that black color again. And I'm going to get the inner corner with just the shadow. That looks pretty good actually. I'm just gonna deepen it up a little bit. Maybe smoke it out a little bit more. Okay. 
I am just going to blend in the corner a little bit. First brush. Okay. I think that actually looks pretty good. Now we're going to go do the other eye. Blend. Okay. I am going to take the tape off now. I'm a little bit disappointed with this lid shade. It's kind of chalky. And then it kind of just blends away. back to the eyes. To prime my face, I'm going to be using the NYX Pore Filler. Such a good primer. For foundation, I'm mixing the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in L90 with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in Natural Buff 204. For concealer, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer again. To set that, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. To add a little bit of color back to my face, I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in Medium with my Morphe E41. To bronze up my face, I'm going to be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I am going to be using this shade right here and my Morphe R2. And then to contour, I'm going to be using my NARS Eda brush and this shade here. And then with the BH Cosmetics Large Shader Brush, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. And I'm going to contour my nose. And then with a Morphe R10, I'm going to be taking the two light shades right here. And I'm going to be putting that under my eyes, on my forehead, nose, chin, and under the contour. And then I'm going to blend that all out with a BH Cosmetics brush. For blush, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blush Palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here with my Lexi 504 brush. And I'm going to mix it with this shade. Alright, let's do the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, first I am going to take my BH Cosmetics Small Crease Brush with the transition shade in the NYX palette. Then I'm going to take the coal and I'm going to do my tight line and my water line. I'm going to take the smallest amount of that black shade in the palette on the small angle brush we've been using. And I'm going to run that along my lower lash line like hugging the lower lashes. Then on an E18 I'm going to take that red shade and we're going to blend out the black. I'm pretty happy. 
So let's zoom you out. For my brows, I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in Medium Brown 310. And the tip is super similar to the Goof Proof Brow. Good alternative if you can't afford the Benefit product. And then I am using the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Deep. Now we're gonna move on to highlighter. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Golden Flower Crown with the Morphe M510. I'm just going to I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm also going to use that same highlighter to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. For fake lashes today, I'm using the Eyelore Nicole Guerrero 143 lashes. Thought they would give a nice little cat eye effect. And of course, I'm using my Duo Lash Adhesive with Vitamins. All right, while those dry, I'm just gonna fix the uh, liner a little bit. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think this look turned out so good. It's all drugstore, especially for all drugstore. I mean, the only things that you honestly like can't get at Walgreens is like the ColourPop stuff I use. So the sheer powder and the concealer, the Morphe setting spray. I think everything else you can get at Walgreens. Actually, they might not have NYX stuff at Walgreens, but that's pretty drugstore and everything can be found in Ulta on the drugstore side. The Morphe stuff, the ColourPop stuff is very inexpensive, so I'm really proud of this look. I think that this liner that I got, this Revlon Colorstay Angled Liner, is such a great idea for this type of look. I also really loved this palette. I think it is great. It has some shimmeries and some mattes and I think it it's really nice. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the cream shade. I thought it was kind of chalky but it actually ended up looking pretty good on the lid actually. So I think this is a great option for an inexpensive palette. I believe this was like $7.99 so a great deal. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this all drugstore, smoky, winged liner look. I think it turned out so good. Love the lip color with it. Very comfortable. No transfer, so these are such a great option, these Wet n Wild ones. I believe these are like $5, so I highly suggest these liquid lipsticks. I think I have them in a couple colors, and they do last a decent amount of time. Nothing like too crazy, but more than a lot of the liquid matte lipsticks out there. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload a video, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. I do post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so keep an eye out on those days for new videos. Well, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes! For blush, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal palette. For for blush, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal palette. Really? For blush, wherever you are. Toddy bye.